Oh no! Christmas is upon us! What shall I get for my friend? Hey y'all, I am James Wright and welcome to my shop. I figured I would do a uh, fun little video here as it is the end of November and Christmas is coming and uh, you're kind of looking for what do you want to get for your woodworking buddy or what do you want to put on your list. And so I'm kind of putting some tools that I use all the time, some of my favorite tools in the shop and uh, not the key tools because if you're a woodworker you have those key tools. But there are a lot of tools that you can get over and over and over again and it's always good to get another one or have one more in the shop. So I figured let's take a chance and uh, look at some of these tools and you might get some Christmas ideas for your buddy or for yourself. So let's start off in the obvious location. You can never have enough clamps and I cannot iterate this enough. You honestly can never have enough clamps and uh, even if you have an entire wall of them you'll probably have a project where you want one or two more. And I'd like to go a little bit different because everyone has you know, the pipe clamps, the bar clamps and things like that. But these wooden clamps, uh, these are things that are kind of coming back in style and they're extremely useful, very quick to adjust and kind of one of the cool things is you can clamp things in it and then you can clamp this into a vise and you can have a, a small vise for working on tools. Uh, they're great for working at the drill press when you want to hold something up. They're great for any time you want to get your fingers out of the way but you still want to hold on to something and have a good grip on it. They're extremely useful tools and one I find myself using quite a bit. Next up, let's get into marking. Now, marking knives are something that are kind of personal, but uh, I like to have a good selection of them on hand. Um, even from like the X-Acto knife or the carving knife, uh, this one was one that was made by a friend of mine, um, Dan the Maker Man, and I'll leave a link to his channel as well. But a marking knife is a fantastic idea. And then going along with a marking knife, a square. Now I like to have a collection of squares, um, and I would like to get a set of small machinist squares. They're extremely valuable for any time you want to do anything with, with joinery or checking things. Having a small one like this is, is great for checking the edge at 90 degrees or doing your dovetails joint line out, layout. Um, a small square is useful. I like to have a little 6 inch square, and then I also have another one that's 18 inches. Um, they're, they're a fantastic one to have as a selection of them, and you really can't have enough of them, and you're going to find that it's good to have them here and there and you'll find the ones that you like. Um, so a good square um, is a great prize. Continuing on with marking, um, a, a good marking gauge, and I really like these roller gauges. I use them probably more than anything else. Um, this is one from Veritas with the, uh, the two screws, um, so you can lay out the mortises um, on both sides, mortise or tenon. Um, they also have several that have micro adjusters so that you can move these in and out with a very small amount of accuracy. Um, that's on my list. I never got one of those, but uh, yes, uh, uh, a marking gauge would be a fantastic prize, and you can really never have enough marking gauges because... Uh, it's always nice to have, if you're working on a project, have marking gauges that are set up to any particular joint and size. And I might have four or five marking gauges on my bench at a time where they're all in use. They're all set up to a, a, a specific measurement. If you find yourself with a lot of free time and you want to take up a different project, getting a simple carving knife is a great little tool. And if you want to do things like whittling or carving, you can use it as a marking knife. It is an extremely versatile tool. Um, a good collection of carving knives is a, is a great thing to have. Getting into tools, a tool that not everyone has but is a very useful tool is a cabinet scraper. And uh, you're not always going to be able to find these antique ones around um, or finding them restored. They're, they're a little harder to come by. Um, but you can actually buy some of the newer ones. They're actually rather cheap in comparison to other planes and tools. And uh, they're, they're just a simple piece of metal with a plate held onto the back. And uh, you can pick one of these up on Amazon fairly quickly and it can be a very useful tool for the shop. Speaking of scrapers, cabinet scrapers are fantastic, but card scrapers come in very handy when you want to get in and you want to get around that shape and you want to work into what you want. Um, a, a card scraper, I have a collection of them and I'm always looking for more different profiles, different sides. Just the simple square or getting with different shapes. Um, the ones from Bearcat, I really like these. Uh, his steel is, is a really good choice. Um, so definitely a card scraper would be a fantastic gift. And then if you're getting a card scraper, having a good burnisher is a, a very cool tool. Now this is one I've had for a while. Uh, it's actually a knife uh, burnisher. It has slight ridges running down. It works very well. Um, but I'm actually thinking about getting a, uh, getting a, a, a steel rod of carbide. Um, that might be a very useful tool. Um, so a, a piece of carbide then will 
will turn a burr on any card stock you have very quickly and very easily. But a, uh, a simple knife sharpener can be a great tool if someone doesn't have a burnisher for their card. For the person just getting into woodworking, a set of chisels, they don't have to be great expensive ones. Um, I have a set that I use from Harbor Freight and I actually use them quite a bit. They're fairly cheap and one of these days I'm going to replace the handle, I don't really like that. But the steel is okay. It's not great, but it'll work well. And for you know seven dollars for a set, <laughs> you can't beat the price. Um, these are ones. These are my go-to's that I use on a daily basis. I got them from Aldi. Um, I, I really don't have much of any reason to get anything better than. I might change the handle because the handle isn't quite the the shape or style I like. Uh, but the steel is actually pretty decent on them. They hold an edge fairly well. Um, is it the highest quality? No. Um, if you want to go a step up higher, you might want to go to like the Narex chisel. It's kind of that good middle ground where it's a really high quality chisel, but at a fairly decent price. And if you're going to be working with chisels, you're going to need a way to sharpen them. Uh, diamonds are a woodworker's best friend, and these diamond plates are phenomenal. They're ones I use on a daily basis. Um, I'll leave a link to all those down below. But one of the fun things with sharpening now, I'm getting, I'm finding a lot more use for these small diamond paddles. And you can buy a set of them at a fairly reasonable price. And they give you a, a coarse, medium, and fine that you can actually sharpen most anything in your shop. If you wanted to, you could sharpen your chisels with these little diamond paddles. Um, they work really well and would make a great gift because um, not everyone has them, but everyone could use them. And even if you have a set, at some point you're going to wear these out. You're going to want another one. and It's always good to have another set on hand. I will leave a link to all of the tools that I have mentioned in the description below so you can go there and see them and see what you would like. Um, I also have a list on my website of all of the tools that I recommend or generally use and uh, it's, it's a good resource for you looking for, you know, what tool should I get. I have it all listed out there and you can quickly link to the site and uh, go see it. Uh, I hope you like this. It was kind of my idea for um, quick relatively simple, relatively cheap uh, tools that you can get from most any woodworker. And uh, they're, they're the tools that you can never have enough of and you, you can always get them for someone even if they already have it you can use more. On top of all of that, if you're ever wondering, you know, what is um, someone like me actually looking for in Christmas, I do have a link to my Christmas wish list. Um, it's a little bit different. It has games and things like that that might spur you on to other ideas and uh, give you ideas for who is on your list. So I hope you like that. This was a lot of fun for me and uh, I'm looking forward to Christmas and uh, buying a few tools for uh, friends of mine. So this is the last video in November and I'm doing one every day through November. Holy cow, it has been a wild ride. <laughs> I'm glad to be done with it and going back to a regular schedule for December and then on. Uh, yeah, let me know if you have any ideas on that, what I should do in the future. I do want to say thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason why I can keep putting out videos like this and doing crazy things like one a day for November. <laughs> if you'd like to uh, find out more about Patreon or help out with that, you can do so right down there. If you'd like to see some more uh, footage or behind the scenes stuff as well, you can do that there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.